Hello and welcome back to another yoga flow on Move With Brie. Thank you so much for joining me for this flow today. We are going to be working on your hamstrings with the intention of getting into splits. If you're not ready to get into full splits yet, you're still going to learn a lot of great things in this class that's going to help you increase your hamstring and calf flexibility and strength. So with that said, make sure that you have something comfortable, you have a soft surface to move on like a yoga mat or a carpet, and let's get started. We're gonna start this flow in child's pose. So go ahead and take a seat at the back of your mat with your knees wide apart. Crawl your arms forward and rest your forehead down on the floor. Take a deep inhale through your nose to expand your low back. And then as you exhale, gently engage your core muscles, drawing your belly button in towards your spine. We'll do that two more times. Take a big inhale, feel the back body expand. And soften hips to heels as you exhale, forehead heavy to the floor. One more time, big inhale. Maybe this time you expand the belly between the inner thighs, expand the low back like a balloon. When you're ready to exhale, gently engage the abdominal muscles, draw the belly button in towards the spine. And this time push the palms down and draw yourself up to a tabletop position. You can reposition your knees so that they're underneath the hips, and we're going to start with a few rounds of cat-cow. On your inhale, arch the spine, lift the chin, lift the chest. And then as you exhale, curl the tailbone under, round the spine. Keep that going. So every time you inhale, big breath in, lifts your chest up. And every time you exhale, draw the tailbone under, tuck the chin to the chest. Inhale, arch the back, lift the chin. And then exhale, round the spine, hollowing out the front side of your body. Let's do two more. Big inhale, arch the back, lift the chin. And then steady exhale, floats your spine into a cat pose. Inhale, cow. Exhale, round. Now we're going to loosen up the hips a little bit more by taking the knees out wide once again. Take the hips, or the big toes back together. Walk your hands forward, and then we're going to move in a circle, taking the hips back towards one heel, over to the other, and then up to the front of your mat. Do a few rounds of that, moving in a big circle with your cat-cow. Moving through your child's pose as you draw the hips back towards the heels. Now this is a great one to start to loosen up some space in your hips. So you'll probably feel it, especially anywhere along your hips. Go ahead and reverse those circles. Anywhere along your hips that have a little bit more tightness, you're going to feel it especially there. Now the areas that feel a little bit more tense, you might linger in those areas so that you can bring some more breath and some more stretch to them. Now draw the hips back towards the heels. One more breath in your child's pose. And then pressing your hands down, rise back up, this time to tuck the toes under and lift the hips up and back to your downward facing dog. We're going to pedal out the feet in down dog. So start to march your feet in place and notice the stretch that that brings to not only the calves, not only the hamstrings, but the soles of the feet as well. A lot of the tension of our calves and hamstrings actually originates in the feet. So the more flexibility you can bring to the feet, the better you are going to feel in the backs of the legs and the better your posture is going to be. So let's feel that stretch in the soles of the feet, maybe even bringing a spreading action to the toes, spreading the toes apart. Good. And then look towards your thumbs and we'll look back towards the feet and do that a few times looking towards the thumbs, looking towards the feet and then to the thumbs and then to the feet. Good. Last time, look at the thumbs. This time as you look back to your feet, steady the feet so both of the heels drop down and start to walk your hands back towards the feet, coming into a forward fold at the back of your mat. Make sure feet are hip distance apart or wider. Grab opposite elbows and start to sway your torso left and right so you get this nice easy ragdoll hang over the legs, releasing some tension from the low back, the back chain of the legs. Let the head go heavy so that you can decompress your upper back and your neck. And now release your hands to the floor. Shake your head no. Continue to let it be heavy as you shake. And then shake the head, yes. Good. Plant your left hand down on the floor, right under your face. Bend your left knee and reach your right arm up. Big open wingspan stretch. 
and then exhale, release the right hand down to trade side. Left arm rises as you breathe in. And then as you exhale, left hand comes down to trade. Big inhale, reach the right arm up. And then exhale, release it down and switch. Big inhale, rise up and open. And exhale, release down and fold. Last time each side. Big inhale, rise, open. Exhale, release and trade. Inhale, lift that left hand high. Exhale, release it down. Now bend both knees deep. Round the back and roll up to stand. Almost like you're stacking your vertebrae. So bone by bone by bone. When you get all the way up to the top, shrug your shoulders up by the ears and roll the shoulders down and back to open up your chest. Beautiful, flip your palms forward. You're gonna pull the fingertips down towards the feet. Pick up your toes and fan the toes apart. Good, try to keep that space between your toes as you set them back down. Push all areas of your feet down very firm and then lift the arms up overhead, inhale. As you exhale, swan dive down or flat spine fold into your forward bend. Slide your hands up your shins, lengthen your spine forward, and then as you exhale, slide the hands down the backs of the legs and fold. Let's rise all the way to stand. So as you inhale, sweep the arms overhead, touch the palms above you, and as you exhale, pull the thumbs down to heart center. I know that the slow pace can be tricky, but try to keep it slow as you inhale the arms up and as you exhale to fold. We will get moving a little bit more. You might even break a sweat today. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. But we're gonna find some graceful, slow movement with the breath for now. Inhale, rising up, warming up the body. Exhale, thumbs to heart center. Let's do one more. Big inhale, sweep the arms up, look up. Exhale, forward fold over the legs. Inhale to slide the hands up the shins. Halfway lift. You got it, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise, reach the arms up, look up to your hands, and as you exhale, pull your hands down to the heart center. We're gonna add on this time, big inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, dive over the legs, forward fold. We will halfway lift, so go ahead and slide the hands up, lengthen your spine forward, but this time as you lower back down, you're gonna walk out to a plank pose, so all the way forward. You might even walk your feet back a little bit. Start to shift forward and back in your plank, Try to find a little bit of a stretch for the calves as you rock. So of course you're bringing some stability and strength to the core, to the arms, upper body, upper back, but you're also finding a stretch in the backs of the legs as you shift on the toes. Heels push back, heels rock forward. Good, now find a steady point where you can go still in your plank pose. You're always welcome to have the knees down in plank, so if you wanna take them down, you can. Take an inhale in plank again. This time as you exhale, bend the elbows and lower all the way to the floor, trying to lower chest through the triceps. Now untuck your toes as you inhale, peel the chest off the floor. As you exhale, roll back down to your cobra, or back down out of your cobra. Inhale, roll back up to your cobra. Now hold that cobra this time. Continue to breathe deep through your nose, but fan the arms back behind you for your locust pose. Take an inhale, look down so the back of your neck gets long. Now set the hands underneath the shoulders once again. See if you can lift a little bit higher in that cobra. Inhale, push the hands down, and then exhale, lower back down. Tuck your toes under, lift your knees off the floor. Now you're welcome to go through tabletop or press the palms down, lift to plank, and then pike the hips up and back down or facing dog. Nice work. Start to pedal out your feet once again, bending one knee, bending the other knee. Finding a little bit of jungle, jungle gym play. <laughs> Good. Don't be afraid to get weird if you want to crawl the feet around in different places. And then go ahead and press both heels down once again. Bend your knees, look at your thumbs, and this time as you exhale, step or jump your feet. Forward fold. Halfway lift as you inhale. Forward fold as you exhale. Now rise to stand as you breathe in, reach the arms up, look up. Thumbs to heart center as you exhale. Inhale, sweep the arms up, look up. Forward fold as you exhale. Halfway lift as you inhale. Let's step to plank as you breathe out. Hold that plank pose, take an inhale. Now you can go all the way to the belly like we did before, with or without the knees, or you might hover halfway down. 
Now as you inhale, come to a low cobra or up dog. If you're an up dog, we're gonna hold it either way. But if you're an up dog, knees and hips are off the floor. If you're in cobra, knees and hips are on the floor. Both are up or both are down. Take one more inhale on your back bend of choice. And let's transition to down dog. You can move through plank or tabletop if you went from cobra. From your down dog, take a deep inhale through the nose. And then through the nose or the mouth, release that breath and push the heels towards the floor. Bend your knees, look at your thumbs. And then the next time you breathe out, start to hop to the thumbs, forward fold. Halfway lift as you inhale, forward fold as you exhale. Rise to stand as you breathe in, reach up, look up. Pull the thumbs to heart center as you breathe out. Let's do it again, big inhale, sweep the arms up. Long exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift as you inhale, forward fold as you exhale. We're gonna add on step to plank, pause in your plank pose. This time you're gonna to roll to the pinky toe, edge side of the left foot, inner arch of the right foot, reach the right arm up for a side plank, just one breath in, make it a long breath in, and then exhale back to center plank for the other side. Inhale, left arm rises, long inhale, extend that breath in, keep breathing in, and then exhale, release back to plank pose. Good job, take an inhale in your plank pose. And then lower down, you can go to the belly or halfway. Inhale to cobra or up dog. And then exhale back to downward facing dog. Let's add on a little bit more on this round too. Inhale, lift your right leg. We're gonna bend the right knee like a slow mountain climber, tap the right elbow. And then inhale, send it up and back. And as you exhale, tap your left elbow. And then inhale, send it up and back. This time as you exhale, step the foot between the palms. Lower your left knee and rise to a low lunge. Your choice what you do with that back foot. You can keep it tucked or untucked. In your low lunge, take a big inhale to reach higher. Hips to fingers gets longer. And then as you exhale, straighten your right leg, land the palms to frame your right foot. Bow the nose towards the knee. Good, feel that calf and hamstring lengthen. The next time you breathe in, Straighten your elbows, lift your chest up. And now exhale, go deeper into that fold. Go ahead and bow, chest towards the knee. Good, and then re-bend your right knee. We're gonna transition from here to our standing split. Tuck the left toes under to lift the knee. Now launch forward. Try to bring your nose towards your shin, your left heel high. The next time you inhale, halfway lift with the chest and we'll land the left foot next to the right foot and fold, breathe out, empty. Inhale, halfway lift, forward fold as you exhale. Rise to stand as you inhale, breathe in deep, reach the arms up. Thumb to heart center as you exhale for the other side, big inhale, sweep up. Long exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift as you inhale. Plank pose as you exhale. Hold in that plank pose. We've got our side planks coming. Roll to the outside edge of the left foot. Reach the right arm up. Exhale, right hand lands through center plank. The next time you inhale, left arm rises. Big wingspan. And then exhale, center plank. Take an inhale in your center plank. Knees or no knees will lower down. Inhale to your back bend, cobra or up dog. Exhale to downward facing dog. Good work. Take an inhale to lift that left leg high. Your slow mountain climber coming at you. Left knee taps, left elbow. And then inhale, send it up and back. Good, exhale, left knee taps the right elbow. And then inhale, send it up and back. As you exhale, step that left foot between the palms, lower the right knee down and rise. Low lunge, big breath in. Catch a couple breaths here, big inhale. Long exhale. We'll do one more inhale. Half split with the exhale. Make sure in your half split, it's not a runner stretch so your hips aren't by your heel, but your hips are stacked over your right knee. Chest leans towards that left shin. The next time you inhale though, let's flex the left toes. Keep them flexed as you lift the chest. Good, and then bend the elbows and bow a little bit deeper towards that left shin. Rebend the left knee. You know what we're headed towards. So lift the right knee up and then launch forward into your standing split. Try to bring the nose towards the knee. 
but now as you inhale, halfway lift the chest, and exhale, right foot lands next to the left in your forward fold, chest down, halfway lift as you inhale, forward fold as you exhale. Rise to stand as you inhale, big breath in, reach up, and then pull the thumb to heart center as you breathe out. Let's go deeper with that. So you're gonna walk the feet together, bend the knees for chair pose, and sweep the arms up. Good. Now keep the hips low, feet are together, knees squeeze together, reach the arms back for an airplane position. Now hover the heels off the floor. Try to keep the heels hovering as you straighten the legs, diver's pose. Keep the heels lifted still as you re-bend the knees. Now plant the heels, sweep the arms up. Good, and now we're gonna do one more. So as you exhale, sweep the arms back. Hover your heels. Straighten the legs, find that balance. Engage the core, keep the heels lifted and lower the hips back down. Now plant the heels, lift the arms up, breathe in deep. You got it, forward fold as you exhale. Halfway lift as you inhale. And you can step or hop the feet back to plank, but if you hop, land of bent elbows. Now we're gonna roll to the left side for our side plank, this time holding it a little bit longer. So reach that right arm high. Since we're holding it longer, I'm gonna give you some options. You might, if you want the extra support, lower the left knee. You might, if you want the extra challenge, lift the right leg. And if you're lifting the right leg, I'm going to have you bend the knee, place the right foot on the inside of the left thigh, keep it there as you transition back to high plank. We're all in high plank with the right foot stepped back. Roll to the outside edge of the right foot, lift the left hand. Take your first variation. So maybe the right knee is down, maybe the left leg is lifted. Hold that position. Now, if you have the left leg lifted, bend the knee, gracefully plant the left foot inside of the right side, lift the hips higher, and now let's all transition back to high plank. Keep the tree leg if you have it, and then step it back. We all meet in high plank, all four points on the floor. Take an inhale, move to your version of chaturanga with your exhale, inhale to your cobra or up dog. Let's meet in our downward facing dog with the exhale. We're gonna lead with the left foot this time and add a couple of pieces. So as you inhale, lift the left leg, bend to the left knee and tap left elbow. Now inhale, send it up and back. And as you exhale, tap the right elbow, pause there. We're gonna kick that left foot off the right edge of the mat, spin on the inside edge of your right foot and lift the right arm up. So it's like your side plank, but that left leg is askew. This is your starfish. Push down to rise up, inhale. Lower the right hand back through plank to three-legged dog. Stretch that left foot up and back. Good, take another inhale there in three-legged dog. And as you exhale, step the left foot between the palms. This time we'll rise up to high crescent lunge. Biceps frame your ears, beautiful. Deep bend in that left knee. Good. Take an inhale as you reach the fingers a little bit higher. And this time as you exhale, airplane the arms back, hover the chest above that left thigh. We'll go back up on the inhale, reach the arms up. And as you exhale, fan the arms back. This time we're rising into warrior three, so launching off of that right foot, flex the right toes, angle them down towards the floor. If you're wobbly, you might embrace it. <laughs> you might choose that you want extra support and you place your hands under your shoulders. Finding your balance, finding your core, take an inhale. And as you exhale, bend your right knee, pull that knee into the chest as you stand up for single legged Tadasana pose, both hands to the sky. Now, with that right knee bent, I want you to place the right foot on the calf to begin. I know that tree pose, we can go higher, but first place it on the calf without the hands, resist the urge, because you'll have to, you'll get to use them in a moment. Lift that right foot above the knee, press the foot into the thigh, thigh into the foot. And now if you want to adjust it, go ahead and reach down, readjust, reach back up. Good, stay with the inhale. Turn the knee forward with the exhale. And let's go back 
through our warrior three to crescent lunge. Right foot steps, big step back. <laughs> Both arms reach up. From here, turn that left arm to the wall behind you, right under the wall in front of you as you spin the chest to the left. You can take it a step further. Look at that left thumb. Bend the right elbow and hook it outside of the left thigh. And place the left palm on top of the right palm. As you pancake the hands together, spin your sternum towards your thumb knuckles. Big rotation from the sacrum all the way up through the top of the skull. Good, and we have a large transition coming here into warrior two, so take up a lot of space, big cartwheel open, lots of expression as you land in your warrior two. Right heel on the floor, left foot parallel to the long edge of your mat. Start to reach forward with your left hand and we're gonna land it inside of the left thigh. Take the right bicep up by the ear for side angle. If you want to take it a step further, you can reach the left bicep up by the ear too, or you can keep that left elbow either inside of or on top of the left thigh. Get lots of length through the right ribs. And then the next time you inhale, we'll go to reverse warrior. Right hand down the back leg, left arm reaches up. Good. As you exhale, cartwheel both hands to the floor. Turn on the ball of the right foot. Lift the left hand up, take an inhale. Move to your side plank with your exhale. Take an inhale in your side plank. Good, move to a variation of your choice. If you wanna up level it even more this time, you can step that left foot behind the right calf, spin the belly and chest open to the ceiling and reach that left hand to the wall behind you or the floor behind you. Good. One more inhale. Move to down dog as you exhale. From down dog, shift forward into high plank. Take a big breath in through the nose. And as you exhale, your version of chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Other side, big inhale, lift the right leg. As you exhale, right knee taps the right elbow. As you inhale, send it up and back. And as you exhale, tap the left elbow. Now hold it there. Kick that right foot out to the side. Roll onto the inside edge of the left foot as the left arm rises up for your starfish. Push down with the right hand, rebound up through the left fingers. Inhale, and then lower that left hand as you exhale. Come back through high plank to three-legged dog. Right arm reaches, right leg reaches up and back. Good, now step that right foot between the palms. We'll lift the chest up into our crescent lunge. Big inhale. Airplane the arms behind you as you exhale. Start to lean forward. Let's go again. Big inhale, rise up. And then exhale into your warrior three. Hands might come down on the floor to support you. Hands might reach behind you or in front of you, but flex the left toes, angle them to the floor and try to level out the hips, left hip down in line with the right hip. Big stretch on the right hamstring, lots of strength for the back of that leg as well. Now bend the left knee, pull it forward, coming into your single legged Tadasana with both arms up. Before we use the hands, let's plant that left foot on the calf, the right calf. <laughs> and then again, before we use the hands, let's lift that left foot up above the knee. Now go ahead and readjust it, only if you'd like. You can reach down, grab the ankle, pull it up a little higher, and then press the foot into the leg, leg into the foot. <laughs> Turn the left knee back to face the front. We're gonna step through our warrior three into your crescent lunge, lifting and reaching that leg back to land and rise. Now left arm goes forward, right arm goes back for your twist to the right. If you want to take it further, look back at that right thumb. Now bend the left elbow, plant it outside of the right thigh, and then place the right palm on top of the left palm. Push them together to create more leverage to spin the chest to the thumbs. Look up past the right elbow, and we have that big transition to warrior two. 
Sweep the arms up and open. Land with arms to a T. Sit deep into your warrior two. Breathe deep into the bottom lobes of the lungs. Start to reach forward with the right hand, forward, forward, and then down either inside of the calf or right elbow can be on top of the thigh. If you are going for that extended reach, right arm frames the right ear. So both arms will reach at a diagonal if you're going for that extended variation. Take an inhale as you lengthen from left heel to left fingers. And now reverse your warrior as you breathe in. Right arm sweeps up and overhead. Good, another breath here in the reverse warrior. And then as you exhale, cartwheel the hands down to frame that right foot. Pause there for a moment. You'll turn on the ball of the left foot. Reach the right arm up. Start to spin on the outside edge of your left foot to swing the right leg back. Taking your favorite variation of side plank, or if you did wild thing on the other side, right foot lands behind the calf. Flip the belly and the chest open to the ceiling. Take a big breath in through the nose. And then exhale, let's re- Flip, unflip to downward facing dog. Take an inhale. Shift forward to high plank with your exhale. Inhale in your high plank. Chaturanga as you exhale. Inhale to cobra or up dog. Downward facing dog as you exhale. Good. Now spread your hands wide. So go a little bit wider than the mat. Walk them back just a little bit so you have a shortened downward facing dog. Bend the knees and you're going to try to hop through the arms to a seat and take a boat pose. <laughs> so from there, you'll grab the backs of the thighs, lift the shins parallel to the ceiling, flex your toes to your knees, holding there, or if you can reach the arms up, reach the arms up. We're going to have the arms up framing the ears, interlace the fingers if you are reaching the arms up. And then we're going to take the arms to the right, exhale out, and then inhale back up to center as you exhale to the left, and then inhale back to center, exhale to the right, inhale back to center, exhale to the left, and inhale back to center. Last time each side, exhale to the right, inhale back to center. Exhale to the left, inhale back to center and hold. Three, two, one, take it down to a canoe. You're gonna reach the arms forward, legs forward. The next time you breathe in, reach the arms back. Now as you exhale, cannonball crunch, pull the knees to the chest, forehead to the knees. Inhale, reach it back out. Now exhale, once again, crunch, forehead to knees. Inhale, reach it back out. Exhale, pull, knees to chest, nose to knees. Inhale, extend. Last two, as you exhale, crunch. And as you inhale, reach. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, reach. Now we're gonna pull the knees to the chest, grab the backs of the thighs, start to rock and roll forward and back, the whole length of your spine. Shoulders to tail. You can either shoot through to a plank pose, you might come into a crow pose to plank pose, or you can simply step back to plank. <laughs> so take your own adventure. You might pop up for a brief crow pose and then shoot the legs back. We're gonna meet in a plank, lower down for chaturanga. Inhale to cobra or up dog. Exhale back to downward facing dog. This time as you inhale, let's lift the left leg. Step the left foot between the palms and lower the right knee to the floor. Do untuck the toes this time. Rise up to your crescent lunge. Low crescent lunge on the left, on the right knee. <laughs> Take an inhale. And then lower the hands for half split as you exhale. This time we'll do a few pumps up and down. So you're gonna move the right knee back just slightly. See that your right hip is still over that right knee. The next time you inhale, straighten your elbows, lift your chest. And then as you exhale, bend and bow. Again, big inhale, lift and lengthen. And exhale, bend and bow. Again, big inhale, lift and lengthen. 
exhale bend and bow good hold at the low point this time this will be our first opportunity for split and we'll have another one later so if you want to start to scoot that left foot forward any amount you might get it a little bit forward or a lot forward keep in mind that it's not all or nothing so you can be anywhere between half split and full split I do want you to focus on keeping the left hip back in line with the right hip. So instead of opening your pelvis to the right, keep that right hip pulling forward, left heel pushing down and dragging back. Good. Now start to slide the left heel back, rise back up into your crescent, low crescent lunge, right knee down. We are going to rise up to a high crescent lunge. So with the right toes tucked, lift that knee, turn into your warrior two, we're going to go up through center to the back of the mat. Warrior two to the back of the mat. Now straighten your right leg, working the opposite hamstring just to give that left one a rest. Reach the right arm forward and then down inside of the right calf or ankle. You can also touch a block here if you want to touch the right fingers on the block. Lift the left hand up, spread the wingspan wide. Try to get long in all of your limbs, legs, arms. Let's do spine and neck as well. Look up towards that left hand. Good. Take an inhale. Lengthen more through the spine as you exhale. Engage your core, bend your right knee, and rise back up to warrior two. We're gonna rise through star again, so quarter turn your right foot, reach both arms up. Now pull both heels in, so you have a big ballet, two stance with the feet. Arms out to the sides, palms up. And then we'll bend elbows, knees, and wrists coming down into your temple squat. Heels are underneath the knees, so find that stacking knees over heels. Elbows are in line with the shoulders, so if they dropped into a W, lift them up and pull them back. Spread the fingers, lengthen the fingers, especially the pinky finger. Take an inhale, lift your right heel. Sit a little bit lower. Good, drop the right heel. Lift the left heel. Again, sit a little bit lower. Good. Lower that left heel. Lift both heels for four, for three, for two, for one. Lower the heels. Hands to hips, straighten the legs. Good. Now pigeon toe the feet. Start to bow forward over the legs, coming into a brief wide-legged forward fold. Hands can grip the back of the calves or ankles. Head hangs heavy, elbows bend if you're going deeper. Now set the hands on the floor under the shoulders, walk the feet wider apart for a couple of skandasana lunges side to side. We're gonna bend the left knee, shift the hips to the left. Bend the right knee, shift the hips to the right. You can use the hands on the floor if you need more support. Start to crawl side to side a few times. Opening up the hips, the hamstrings. The next time you come to the left side, the top of your mat, you'll pivot around to face the front of your mat. You'll swing that left leg up and back. Now you might keep the left leg lifted as you come forward and down for Chaturanga. Inhale both feet down as you take your cobra or up dog. And then we go to downward facing dog. From your downward facing dog, lift the right leg. Step that right foot between the palms and lower the back knee down, low lunge. Big inhale to sweep the arms up. As you exhale this time, we'll take the hands down to frame the right foot and begin those lifts and lowers. The next time you inhale, lift the chest, lengthen the spine, and then exhale, bend and bow. Again, big inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, bend and bow. Inhale, lift and lengthen. And exhale, bend and bow. We're gonna hang out in the bow this time. So if you wanna take it a little bit further, you'll start to crawl that right foot forward any amount. Keep in mind, we'll have another opportunity for both sides of split. So this is your first opportunity to feel it out. If the right hip has slipped further forward, draw it back in line with the left hip. Good. Point the front toes, find length across the top of the foot. 
and now begin to drag that right heel back. Rebend the right knee, tuck the left toes to rise, crescent lunge, high crescent lunge, reach the arms up. Set the left heel down, open to your warrior two. From your warrior two, straighten out the right leg, quarter turn your right foot, quarter turn the left foot. Setting up for chicken rasana on the left side, reach the left arm forward and then down inside of the left calf, right arm reaches up. Finding that big open wingspan, lengthen the spine, lengthen across the arms. Keep spinning that right shoulder up so it stacks over the left shoulder. Every time you exhale, an opportunity to find that engagement of the core muscles, pulling belly button to the backbone. One more inhale, breathe in deep, fill up the bottom lobes of the lungs. Then with the exhale, engage the core, bend the left knee, and rise up on empty. From there, straighten the left leg, quarter turn that left foot. Once again, hop the heels in, turn the palms open, bend elbows, knees, and wrists. This time going in for the full hold. Go ahead and take that goddess pose. Lift the heels if you're up for it, and we're going to hold here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 3, 2, 1. If you have the heels up, lower them down, hands to hips, and we'll straighten all the way up. Now hop the heels out, turn the toes in, and once again we'll fold over the legs, going right into our skandasana lunges this time. Bend the left knee, and bend the right knee, side to side a few times. time you go to the right, pivot around to face the front of the mat. From that runner's lunge, lift the right leg up and back to three-legged dog. Now you're welcome to keep the right leg lifted as you shift forward and lower down for your chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog, both feet down. Downward facing dog as you exhale. Good. Bring both knees to the floor. Turn on your mat so you can take a wide-legged position facing the long edge of your mat, separating the heels wide. Crawl the pelvis forward as you crawl the heels out. Now we'll flex the toes up towards the ceiling. You might take the hands behind the butt and pull some of the flesh back so that you can easily connect the bones to the floor. And then place the hands in front of you, palms down. Lift up through the spine. Think of pressing the heels towards the walls that they're aimed at and pressing the backs of the knees down to the floor. Find engagement in the abdominal muscles, drawing the navel in. Inhale, reach the arms up. And then exhale, forward fold to the front. You can walk the hands forward, lower the elbows down, maybe lower the forehead down. Do keep activity in the feet by flexing the toes. Good, and then walk the hands back. Start to scoot yourself back out of that wide straddle. Bring the soles of the feet together, and you're just going to simply pivot and turn on your mat so you're facing the front. We're going to walk the feet forward into a fold, bend both knees, lift the heels, come into a tight little ball. If you can balance, you're going to wrap the arms around the shins, hug in, and then releasing the hands to the ground, keep the heels lifted, come all the way up with the hips into a forward fold. Lower the heels back down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Step the right foot back. Lower the knee down. Inhale, lift the arms and chest. Exhale, back to your forward fold. Now this time we're going all in, half split. You're going to your max with your split. So we've done a lot to open up the back of the legs, to find the strength of the hamstrings and quads. So start to scoot your foot forward any amount. 
keeping in mind that that right hip is probably gonna wanna scoot back further than the left hip. We're gonna do our best to keep that right hip pulling forward. You can help assist yourself with that by placing the hands parallel to each other and pulling the chest to frame the front of your mat, square front to your mat. Go ahead and point your left toes. Take an inhale. Maybe you bow forward on the exhale. Inhale, lift the chest, lengthen up through your spine, and then exhale, bow forward over that left leg. Last time, big inhale, roll the spine up like a wave, and then exhale, curl down over that left leg. As you rise back up this time, we're gonna place the hands down firm to push down and slide the left heel back to lunge. Tuck the right toes, lift the knee, go up to a three-legged dog. In your three-legged dog this time, circle out the leg any way that feels good. That left leg is lifted and you're drawing big circles in the hip. When you feel good in one direction, go the opposite direction. Set it down. Step your right foot forward. Lower the left knee to the floor and rise up to that low lunge position. Big inhale through the nose. As you exhale, straighten the front leg, lower the hands down. We're gonna to start to slide the right foot forward now. This side will feel different than the other side. For a lot of us, this is gonna be the easier side. This is my more challenging side. <laughs> You're gonna point the right toes, lift the chest up, try to pull that right hip back and draw the left hip forward. Take another inhale upright, stretch the spine, and then exhale, curl forward and bow. We have three total. As you inhale, rise, and as you exhale, curl forward. Last time, big inhale, roll up, and then exhale, curl in. Holding that one for a beat. Good, go ahead and rise back up. Walk the hands forward just slightly and pull that right heel back, coming into your lunge. We'll inhale the arms up and exhale, hands down. Tuck the left toes, send that right leg up and back. Start to circle through the right knee or the right hip in one direction. When you feel complete in that direction, reverse it. Good, and then set both feet down. Bend the knees, look at your thumbs and then step or hop to a seat at the top of your mat. We're gonna roll all the way down to the back, coming to lie and set up for bridge pose, walking the heels close to your glutes will be your prep. We're gonna hand, have the hands down by the sides, press the palms down flat, and as you're ready, lift the hips off the floor. Keep the knees hip distance apart, press the hands, feet down firm, if you can go a little bit further, start to crawl your shoulder blades together, interlace your hands, and then press the pinky side of your hands down. Use it as leverage to rebound your pubic bones up. Take an inhale. Lift the chin away from the chest as you exhale. And then lift the chest back towards the chin as you breathe in. So the chin stays put, but the chest rises up and back. Chin stays lifted, open up the throat space, the front of the neck, take one more inhale, one more long exhale, reach the arms overhead, lift the heels off the floor, and then slowly zipper your spine to the mat at a slow, steady pace. Good, when you get all the way down, separate your feet as wide as the mat and start to switch the knees side to side, find some release in the hips, in the psoas, in the size of the body. And then the next time your knees fall to the right, you're going to pause there. Pick up your right heel and place it outside of the left thigh. Use it to gently pull the left knee closer to the floor. And then relax the weight of the legs. Relax the abdominal muscles, let them find a stretch. Good. Release the right heel and swish to the opposite side. This time the left heel is going to lift and be placed outside of the right knee, right thigh. And then gently press with that left heel. Bring yourself a little bit deeper into the twist. Stretching psoas, hip, thigh. Good. Deep inhale, fill up. 
and exhale, soften in. Release your left foot to the ground, bring both feet back up. Keep the knees wide, or keep the heels wide. <laughs> bring the knees together. Knees knock into the center to support each other. Your constructive rest pose. Now you can place the hands on the belly. You can keep the hands extended overhead if that feels really nice. Find some length through the spine here as you rest the torso, the upper back and the skull very heavy on the floor. Getting very close to our Shavasana, you'll feel in this position, the body already start to wind down and become receptive to all of the benefits of the practice that you have just under, underwent <laughs> and just undertook. <laughs> Relax the jaw. You might even wiggle the jaw side to side. And now finding that full restoration, slide the legs out long. Let the body rest heavy to be received by the floor. And as you rest here, you also have this beautiful opportunity to let all of the benefits of the practice absorb in and become part of your new normal. All of the flexibility, all of the strength become part of how you move throughout your day on a regular basis. Give yourself that time right now to let it sink in. We're going to be in Shavasana for about a minute listening to the music and relaxing the body and mind. I'll bring you out of Shavasana in a moment with the sound of my voice. Start to bring small movements to the smallest joints of your body by wiggling your fingers and your toes. Rotate your wrists and ankles, big slow circles. On an inhale, reach your arms overhead, take a full body stretch. Get really long on your mat here. And then as you exhale, draw the knees into the chest, wrap your arms around your shins. And we'll roll to a fetal position on one side of the body. From that fetal position, press down to rise up. We're going to come to a seat, crossing the legs in front of you. Take a deep inhale of gratitude for this practice and for yourself showing up. Reach the arms up. And then exhale, thumbs to heart center to bow forward. Head intelligence to heart intelligence. It was an honor to guide you through this class. I really hope that you enjoyed it and that you got maybe a little bit closer to your split. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it the thumbs up and subscribe to support my channel, but to also receive the new uploads from me. I do also teach live classes in workshops and I have a forearm stand workshop coming up on April 3rd. So if you're interested in that, you can find the information down below, as well as a little bit of a note from me on this class and my other offerings. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for being here and I'll see you again real soon.